Hello students, today the Mobile Science Laboratory represented by Khatija and myself, we are going to have a very simple but very beautiful experiment called gel experiment. Gel experiment. Uh, what we are going to do here is, it's a very simple experiment and you can try this at home okay, sir. without any problem. We always recommend that you be safe when you do experiments. So what we will do Khatija first is, yes, sir. you make use of this beaker. Okay. And we want a tube of synthetic medicine. Now, important to remember, don't call this gum. Okay. Don't call this glue. Gum means any product that comes from the trees. Glue means product that are obtained from animal parts. So, we should call this synthetic gum. Gum. Now, what you do is, you open this synthetic Fine, gum. Okay. And you... Transfer the whole thing into it, Fine. making use of all your strength so that nothing is remaining. Yeah, go ahead. Students, I'm going to pour synthetic gum into the beaker over here. Right. There is one more tube. This also contains a little bit of synthetic gum little bit one test tube okay. almost full of thin in which did a little red color okay so you please transfer this also get a some beautiful color over here sir yes now we will do one more thing that color doesn't seem to be so uniformly yes, dispersed so what i will do is i'll dip my glass rod into the solution and we will mix it like this. This, students, is a solution of a called safferin, used very much by my biology colleagues for staining specimens for the microscope. Safferin, dark color, as you can see, we've got a beautiful pink color over here. We're going to do one thing. We have taken two tubes, the synthetic yes, adhesive, sir. and in this beaker, I have got a saturated solution of borax. 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 Borax is the common name for a chemical which has got a big name. Disodium tetraboro decahydrate. Borax is enough. Borax is enough, I think. So, this is a saturated solution. Yes, sir. And I will add a few drops of this and Khatija will shake. And to observe carefully because things are going to happen fast now. Okay, Khatija? Yes, I'm ready. ready. Here we go. Shake it fast. It's tight, sir. Yes, it is tight. Yeah, it's too tight now. It is not only tight, it has become solid and hard. Of course. Sir. And this, my friends, is called a gel. Take it out and show yeah. it to them. It looks like ice cream. Of course, but, sir. But don't try to eat it. Right. So, what we have got is a gel. Let us wash it with water. Can I touch it, sir? Yes, you can. What I will do is first, okay. I will take it out from this like okay. this. I will squeeze it in my hands like this. Of course, it's many Stool. people will like to do it, but I am doing it. And here you can see that I am producing a nice rubbery ball. Yes, sir. Now, this, students, is called a gel. And we have seen this many times in our daily lives. You eat halwa, it yeah. looks like this. Well, we have many other things that are called gels. For a year, Khatija, now you can hold it. And it is not at all sticky now. Yes. There are various uses of gels nowadays. We have gel toothpaste, we have gel boil point pens, we have gels to keep our hair standing up like this. We have got gels to wash our face. In fact, gels are at every stage of our life and are now the cutting edge of scientific research. Solid technology is very, very important. I hope you have understood this experiment. Yes, sir. What we have done here is 
This synthetic adhesive is made out of a substance called polyvinyl alcohol. When we add borax, the polyvinyl alcohol molecules which are single strands get interlocked like this. This is called three-dimensional network. Okay. A cross link. It is as simple as that. Everything gets mixed up. Just like the bricks in a wall. Yes. Sir. So this is what it is. The way you told we are performing this experiment with synthetic gel. Yes. Can we do with uh, other types of gels like glue or gum, natural and animal no. extract one? No. It's a good question. The important thing you have to remember is that when we are taking reactants, they should be able to react with one another. Polyvinyl alcohol has reactive groups which can react with borax. Okay. Not every gum or every glue can give this experiment. We have to be a little silly. Okay, sir. Students, I hope you have enjoyed this. This is a very simple experiment. You can do this at home. No need of glass apparatus. You can make use of a simple plastic glass which you use for drinking water and throwing it off. But be careful when you use borax. Don't taste it or put it in your mouth. That's all we say. And after the experiment, wash your hands. I hope you enjoyed this. Atija, did of you? Of course, sir. And I hope students, you have also understood what gel formation is. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, students.